Hello folks, again, King here, and we're reviewing and showing off the um, uh, plugin for Minecraft called MTS. I don't know what the, oh, it's Transport System. It used to be for Flight Simulator, but they've, they've since added a vehicles, and they're adding more and more to it. Um, they've created a base system that runs everything, but it doesn't contain vehicles, and then you add packs. So uh, I just started trying to make a car. I haven't done the research on it, and I, I didn't get it to work. So um, I'll work on that later. But for now, we're showing off planes. So I built this airport that I've been playing around with for a couple days. Got my controls all set up. This is significantly easier if you actually have flight controls, like rudder controls and a joystick and all that. Anywho, so when you place a vehicle, see how the, tr the car is? You pick a block and place it, it's going to be facing that way. So what we're going to do, we'll start off with the planes. We are going to put down a simple Birch MC-172. Think of that like a Cessna 172. This one's made of Birch, apparently. Okay. For our Birch Cessna 172, we are going to need a small airplane engine. If you use this one, it's going to take fuel. Since you're in creative, you can use the one that uses no fuel. Okay, so we're going to grab that. Boom. Now I also already have the seats that you're going to need to sit in, the propeller, and the, oh, I don't need large wheels, I need the small wheels for the, for this. Although I'd like to make a bush plane and put big wheels on it. It'd be fun to have a custom plane, you can put anything you want on it, so I might try to make that pack, we'll see. And if you like color, you can put some color in there, stick in some colorful seats, so we'll do that. Alright, so, well, first of all, here, let's, um... Toggle off that rain. And then let's grab our plane. So here's what you do. You right click the spot. Boom. Hit put down a plane. See? There's the shell. Now this is just a shell. You can't actually fly this thing or do anything with it. Your next step, put three wheels on it. One, two, three. You right click it and it puts them in place. You see how they appeared there? Alright, these are easy. Next one is an engine. Boom. Plunks the engine right in front. See that? There's your engine. On your engine, you need a propeller. Bing! How cool is that? Okay, now, we also have nothing in here. See? It's empty. We need seats. But before we do seats, my favorite thing, I'll probably wreck this plane at some point, but see if you can right click and throw in a. Uh... Oh, this is not allowing me. Try it up here. Right click. Yeah, there. It put in a chest. So you got to right click on the front of the plane. Plunks down a chest. See? And we can actually use the chest and put stuff in it. All right? Then you got to put in some seats. So, right click up here. Right click. Right click. So on this plane, I can carry one passenger and a chest full of goods. Yippee! Now, it took me a little bit to figure this out. It was in the documents. I had read the documents, but everything doesn't sync with me. I'm kind of slow. If you want to modify or put gauges on your dash, right? Because see, we got we got an empty dash here. Nothing went on. You right-click the plane with a wrench. Oh, something went wrong there. What happened? Ah, let me out of the plane, you turkeys. There we go. Right-click the plane. There we go. Right-click the front of the plane again. So, the most important thing I have found on this plane is directional. So you click a box in the control panel, and you click the one you want, and that's it. Now we have a compass. Um, another fun indie. Oh, what else do we have going here? Well, I guess if you're a pilot, you'll recognize these. So you have your, I believe this is altitude. And then down here we have our vertical speed indicator. And if we want to put one over here, we actually can have the, it's like an angle of attack lift indicator. Um, the others are like RPM and stuff, which really are useless to me. Turn indicators would be interesting, and slip indicator. Okay, so put those there. Be done with them. Good. So there you go. We have created a plane. There's a little Cessna. Ta-da! Too easy, right? 
I found if I had the wrench on, I screw things up because if you right click it, it'll take you to the wrong panel. So let's get in our plane. Hey, that's not what I wanted. Let me in my plane. Thank you. Now you can click the seat and switch whichever seat you like to sit in. And from the inside, you can open the box. So, oh, there's a nice little dash. See? Ooh. How cool is that? Seriously. Just too easy. All right, now, if you hold down right shift and control, you can change your indicators. So right there now, I have my uh, turn slip indicator on the right, my altitude indicator on the left, and my heading indicator on, the, or sorry, in the middle, and my heading indicator on the left. Heading indicator on the left, altitude in the right, and that's in blocks, which is kind of funny. So apparently this plane will only fly up to 30 blocks. If you hit it again, you get this pretty wooden dash. And you hit it again, you get all the indicators, which you can use like this. And if you press F5, you can get out of your plane. You can actually use your indicators. So things like this. Ta-da! So really, altitude, heading. Um, I, don't, I haven't used that gauge on the right yet, so we'll see what happens with that. And then you hit shift, you jump out of the plane. See how that works? Out of the plane. I need to get rid of that block before I get stuck on it with my plane here. So, F5, back in here. Boom. All right. So, no more uh, no more discussing or argument. Let's get into her. Here's what we do. You want to fly this plane? You get in it. Sit wherever you want to sit. I prefer this view. I like to be out here. Um, you push U. Brings up this panel. Now, like a real plane you have a mag switch that turns the magnetos on anybody who doesn't know planes magnetos somebody actually put a lot of thought and work into this um, and they've done a good job so kudos to whoever made this and uh... we would love to help you out unfortunately when we got in your discord people were one person specifically unfortunately um, was just just putting off a super bad vibe so, didn't understand the idea of community and uh, people getting along and didn't care. So, we'll leave it at that. So, now, you have your panel here. Really all you need to do, I have set up a joystick and pedals. You can use your keyboard. I find the keyboard the hardest way to possibly fly. Um, what I do at this point, I make double check, pre-check, make sure my throttle is all the way down. Pull in my brake. Hit the start button, and now our engine's running. Push U again. Boom, here's our plane. So you can see, we are started up, and we are in a plane. Now, you want to see my control surfaces. Right pedal, rudder. All right, yaw. There we go, a little yaw. Okay, joystick. Up, down. Elevators, left, right. So a proper bank turn should be a little left, a little right rudder, or hard left, hard right rudder, right? And the opposite. That's about it. It's really all there is to it. <laughs> Since we keep it simple, I like this uh, this point of view. So give her some throttle. Brakes are still on. I use your yaw control or your rudder to steer when you're on the ground, like real. Now, give her some uh, flaps down and throttle up. Such a light plane, she takes off pretty easy. Pull back on the stick, gentle. Level her out. And ta-da! We are flying a plane got to keep my perspective here so all right flaps up throttle back she'll find her equilibrium here in a second and she'll you'll see it peek over and then start going back down when it starts to go back down it'll gain speed so it'll lift itself up again so I usually get myself messed up with camera so here we go how high can she climb? Can we pull her up? 
Is how high can we climb this sucker? Let's give this throttle and see how high we can climb her. It's full throttle. Oh, she's not really gaining. I don't know, this thing's telling me I'm 10 blocks high because we know we're higher than that. Must be 100 maybe, 150 blocks. Maybe I'm at the top of the world. Is this the top? I bet you it is. 128 probably, something like that. Alright. Look at me, Mom, flying. Hey. Alright, so we have been flying east. North. What are we flying here? I'm going to level the sucker out. So east, so let's turn this around and head west. Little rudder. Let's throttle back a little. hard on me. Alright, so that should be west. I really want to correct a little more west, but there it is. Guess back where we were. <laughs> I might need to improve the memory situation here. I can't get this plane to come down. Now oh, we're dropping. Okay, let's adjust our west. You can. Uh, oh, I have my flaps down a little. There, my flaps are a little. That throttle back a little bit. Maybe we can get her to settle down somewhat. Hey, there's my house over there. That means we just about overflew our own airport. So, what are you doing in an airplane when you want to do something? Throttle up so we don't crash. Give us more control. Get our camera in a good spot. There, we just overflew our airport. As you can see there. We'll do our big roundabout. It's hard when you're controlling the camera at the same time, so... I normally don't pan the camera all around. I have a feel for what I'm doing, and I just keep doing it. So, And the controls are really touchy. I'm working on that, though. Alright, so... Put our flaps down, we can decrease our throttle. Level this damn plane up. No, 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 no. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, we're getting some sort of a crash. What is going on? Oh, well, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, my goodness gracious. Give me some sort of a view here. Let's get her up over the, over the dirt. Pull up. Nope. Ah, I crashed her. Ha <laughs> ha. Damn it. Alright, so I was putting more attention into looking around and doing shit, but, well, you get the feel for it. Get my view back on here. What am I doing? Alright. That's it. Try it again. We'll do a takeoff and then just a landing. They do land. I swear, they do land. I'm just terrible. <laughs> This is how easy it is to build this sucker. Put the propeller on it. And then you put your seats in. There's your seats. Alright. We jump in the plane. I don't need any of that. So, what do I need? I'm in the plane. Nothing. You. Make this quick. Magnus. Start. Now, as soon as you start, she is going to start turning. Sorry, I already have my throttle still at full. I need full throttle if I'm going to get off this runway. Just ain't happening. Oh, there she's bucking. That means lift. There, we got some lift. Now, when you turn those down, you lose some of your lift, but you really gain speed. 
Oh shit. Yeah, you gotta watch that lag. That's a terrible thing, that is. Where's our points of reference here? So bring her around. Let's see if I can get a landing out of this. If you tip too hard, you're gonna lose your uh, your lift at all, right? So see, we're getting closer to the to that. So we throttle down. Give her full flaps. Keep your throttle still going, though. Push it down. Push it down. Oh shit, shit. Glider in, glider in, glider in, glider in. And throttle off. And we touch down. Touch down. There it is. There it is. And turn. We did it. Yay! So if you take your hand off the brake again, it'll start to drive some more. So I put those bricks here just to mark, indicate the spot where I built them, and I kind of try to keep them there, but... Oh, there we go. One crash and one successful flight. You and... Left shift jumps you out of it, and here we are. Oh, let me out of my plane. Let me out of you, you master. I'm still moving. Does it give it to me? There we go. Yay! So... Here I am. One successful flight in the rain. And that's how it works. <laughs> Moving forward from here, I hope I get better. So, thank you for watching.